Hi guys, thank you so much for coming over here. I am always your host K Sam and it's been so long without me creating content especially about virtual DJ or generally coming to YouTube. In today's video, I am going to show you something so quick and simple. It is going to be about how to store the jog sensitivity scratch in a button on your DJ controller or on your keyboard to make sure you can quickly change it. Now the reason I'm doing this is actually to help you switch in case you want to scratch or you want a very tight backspin on a specific deck. I'm going to show you that in a minute, but before we really get deeper into the video, I am going to ask you to at least please subscribe to my channel and click that small bell in case you're new or you've been watching without subscribing. That really helps a lot. Without so much talking, let's take care of business. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, basically what I mean here is that we can change the sensitivity scratch of the jog wheel to make sure it is either tight or loose. What I mean here is, for example, I'm going to press, I am using this PFL button on my controller so that if I press it once, a specific deck can have that loose sensitivity I can use for scratching. And then the next thing is that I can increase the speed by pressing the other side still on the same deck. You can notice the difference if you've been a DJ for some time or if you are so much into scratching. So that's what I really mean. This applies to both decks depending on what button you really pressed. You can also customize this and then uh, allocate it to one of the keys on your keyboard to store as many as you want. I just wanted to give you the idea so that you can now take it and be creative with it further. Let me show you what goes on around. Now when you go to the settings, and then go to options. What we always know is that we have to search the hard way for jog sensitivity scratch. All right, so when you, when you type in jog sensitivity, like that, you can always change it from here. Manually, this is 10, but that is how I set it by pressing the button. Right, without having to do that, we just have to come to the mappings or controller section. We are currently connected to Numac Mixtrack Pro. And when we come to edit mappings, we really can see this. So I'm going to press on my PFL button to show you what I really mean. And then when I click on it once over here, it shows you the script I have used. Maybe if I have to explain this briefly, it is going to ask if the device side, if the button I'm pressing is on the left side of the deck, then it is going to set the jog sensitivity scratch to 1000%. Else it is going to set the jog sensitivity scratch to 130 percent if the button i have pressed is on the right side of the deck that's basically what it does i'm going to leave this mapping in the description down below you can set as many values as possible you can set 1500 depending on what you want now what is the use of doing all these like i said before it is going to help you in the back spinning Sometimes it is very loose to backspin on a normal with normal jog wheel sensitivity, but if you have a, a song playing and then you you've always heard David Guetta and the rest of those other guys doing real quick backspins. So what I really mean here is that if you want to do a normal scratch now, you can you can click for example you can click I, I can click on uh, this right PFL button on the right. To make sure the sensitivity scratch is conducive for a normal scratch you can hear that but then if i was playing the song on the same deck and then i would want to have a tight back spin in case in, instead of that scratch then i would have to press the other left pfl button to make sure i can do a very tight back spin over here like that you listen to that that was so classic you can always be creative with it. Now, there are some limitations with this. The, the thing you have to keep in mind is that you don't always have to forget to press the specific button to do what you want to do. Don't forget to start, don't forget and start scratching before pressing this right PFL button. Don't forget and do the backspin without pressing the other one. So that's the only limitation for now. The other thing that we want to try is to put everything on the jog wheel without having to press the PFL buttons. So please, if you like to see it, follow along. 
Thank you so much for watching up to this point. My name is K Sam, always your host. I love you so much, my subscribers. If you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and support my channel. And then make sure this content reaches to as many DJs as possible by kindly sharing it. If there's anything you feel is missing from the video, please feel free to comment down below. I'll be able to respond. If there's anything you want to ask about, that is it. Join me on Telegram. Join me on TikTok. We'll have a lot going down. Thank you so much for watching one more time. See you when you open my other videos.